Hello, hello, hello. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Sound like it been a sound like it been a little while, like a minute or so, or a couple of weeks or months or something. I don't know. <laughs> sound like it been a little while. But hey, how y'all doing? Good evening. Good evening. Happy Wednesday. Uh, yeah, we back at it again. I see I see the chats flowing through. I'm looking at this other screen over here. See, I got a new setup and everything, and got a couple new new little things going on. But uh, let me fix this right quick. Pull it down just a little bit. All right, there we go. There we go. But how y'all doing? Hey, how you doing, Pink Girl Teachers Joy? How you doing, sis? See, uh, Kristen Pilkel's in the house. How you doing? Let's see. My wife is in here, North for Living. She did a phenomenal uh, message earlier. You missed that. She was live at noon uh, today. Uh, she did a message, and that message was called, I got to put it up over here because I want to make sure I got it right. It was uh, narcissist abuse when I knew I was in a narcissistic marriage and family. Go check that out uh, if you haven't checked it out. Like I said, she was live noon earlier, and it was a phenomenal message. I was able to listen to it while I was driving. I couldn't really interact, but I know Alan B was in there. Hey, how you doing? Uh, Alan B, how you doing? He said, love the background. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Just trying to change up some things. You know how we doing. Uh, Tisha should say, Solomon, I literally just reposted the first Mr. Narcissus video with music. Okay, I'm about to check that out after I finish this. I'm going to uh, check that out. <laughs> I'm going to check that out. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. Hey, how you doing, Jasmine Henry? Welcome, welcome. Let me see. Let me go over here. Hold on. I can pull up the chat. Let's see. Let me see who else is in here. Uh, Miss Spanish Lady, hey, how you doing? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Uh, Tiffany Walls, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Kristen, out there in Oklahoma, hey, how you doing? Let me see. Who else? Let's see. Andrea, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Joanne, welcome. How you doing? Janet Foot, hey, been a while. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Alan B, where you? You on the road right now, brother? I seen Brother Rizzo in here also. Tony Capers, hey, how you doing? Welcome. Let me see. Stephanie Burke, hey, how you doing? Thank you for joining. I just get excited when you see people in here. Tony Capers and Empathic Magistry. Shabbat Shalom. How y'all doing? Uh, Kristen say good. Rainy weather here in Oklahoma. Hey, a little, little rain ain't too bad. As long as it ain't, you know, as long as it don't rain for days at a time, it ain't too bad, I guess, you know. You know, I don't mind a little rain. I don't, you know, I don't like all that rain with it rain for three, four, five days in a row. I don't want none of that, you know. But man, how y'all doing, man? Like I said, it's been a while. I'm excited to actually be live. Like I said, it's been a minute. Uh been a couple weeks. Hey, how you doing? What love? Say good day, y'all. Good day to you too. Thank you for being here. Hey, hit the like button as y'all come in. You know, uh, it's always uh hey, how you doing, Tan Rose? I just was talking to her on uh on TikTok. Thank you for being here. It's, yeah, it's it's a safe community. We over here, we uh talk about narcissist abuse and healing and things like that. So thank you for being here. So yeah, we uh yeah, we used to come in here. We we laugh a little bit, we talk about narcissists, and you know, if you watch any of my content on TikTok, you know, I got this series I started uh called Mr. Narcissus. Uh I started on a live a few weeks back and teacher was like, she said, you know, it'd be a good idea for you to start a thing. I, I did. I have a few more recorded. I'm probably going to record a few more tonight after I'm finished with this live. But uh, yeah, Mr. Narcissus. She said she just dropped one. Hey, how you doing, Lee Bell? He said one year, no contact. Let me see. Let me catch it. Let me put it up here. One year, no contact yesterday. Just started getting my focus and memory back a month ago. Can be a long process. Hey, man, y'all should be throwing up some praying hands or uh, not praying and praise hands in the chat and flames in the chat because y'all know how it is being no contact for any amount of time with this one year one month is actually phenomenal so that's awesome so uh congratulations on that lee uh and we we gonna be here to celebrate your two-year mark you know you uh come back in you two years uh you know two years and so forth and so on of no contact that is awesome so yeah that's congratulations on that you see everybody celebrating you in the chat, so that is awesome. Alan B, no, Rizzo, no, y'all know, you know, it's a while, you know, it, going no contact, you know, from, from people is actually harder than you may think, especially people that you've been in love, you know, with, family members, 
things like that. Hey, how you doing, uh, Dennis? Close. Welcome. God bless you all. Samantha. Okay, Samantha from Ohio. How you doing, Samantha from Ohio? All right. Oh, yeah. You're welcome, uh, Lee. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Let me see. Tammy said, uh, three weeks for me, but I have to go back and get my things. Hey, just know when you go back, you know, just be safe when you're going back to get your things. That's a critical time, especially if the if the narcissist is uh at the home. So just be safe when you go there. Hey, call the police if you have to, you know what I'm saying? Or at least go with a family member. Do not go there by yourself. That's just learn from our mistakes. People that have done it by, by ourselves. Uh yeah, don't go by yourself. Go with somebody. Hey, how you doing, Judy Mills? Welcome, welcome. Try to go with uh someone, you know, and if you need police escort do that as well. But three weeks, hey, you're on your way. Before you know it, you could be eight months and then a year and then you keep on moving. So congratulations on that as well, Tammy Russell. Let's congratulate that as well. That's, hey, three weeks, that's, hey, that's that's that tough, that tough uh, phase. The first three weeks, the first, minute, be honest with you, the first three or four months uh, going no contact is actually pretty hard. And you got always, I can go all the way probably to that first year. Uh, okay, she said my son, my sons are coming. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, don't go there by yourself. Yeah. So that first year can be actually rough and trying, but trust me, you can get through it. Uh, I'm not saying that just because I've done it. I'm just saying they have a lot of people in the chat. As you see, as you interact with people, Tammy and Lee and different people that are new here, you'll see it's a lot of us that have been no contact for a certain amount of time, but we have, uh, you know, found love after, you know, narcissist abuse. I actually did a a video about that a while back but there is love after narcissist abuse a lot of people think that once you divorce this narcissist because all the evil things they say that it's just done now nah, it's just the beginning you just got to realize that that time that you was with the narcissist whether it's male or female see some people try to get on me when i made mr narcissist the uh skit I, they're like well we're gonna get miss narcissist it's my skit it's my channel you go create miss narcissist and do what you want to do but for y'all that know why i created i created it, it they got men and women. You heard my story. You know, I was married to a, a Jezebel. So, and she was a narcissist. So I, and I made a video about that as well. You can check that out. I had a video called uh, Narcissist. It's not a male or female thing. It's an evil thing. So stop getting caught up in the particulars about, oh, it's a man. Oh, it's women. More nar No, it's just evil. It don't matter if they male or female. So that's why I met with that. So, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. But again, thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for being here. Always oh, awesome to see family come out and support and, you know, read the chat, especially you all for a couple of weeks and stuff. So, you know, it's, it's, it's always good. So, yeah. All right. Let's let me get all the announcements out of the way. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. So if you want to reach Shannon, this is all Shannon stuff, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, you know, follow this. Matter of fact, this is one of the shirts that I have on. Uh, you want to purchase in the apparel. Hey, how you doing? Lyrics is welcome. Welcome. Donna Buckley. Hey, how you doing? Welcome. Thank y'all for being here. God bless y'all. Uh, yeah, she has shirts. She has all kind of apparel and stuff. So check her out. Uh, www.northfreeliving.com. Check her out. Ooh, I don't want to mess up your name. Is it Ladira? Ladaria Burden, I, I don't. I, I'm probably messing that up. Hey, how you doing? Good evening. Thank you for being here. I hope I'm not messing Ladaria Burden. I hope I'm not messing that up. I I, I be messing up names sometimes. Uh, <laughs> it's not because I want to. I just hey, you know, it's one of them things. But thank you for being here. God bless you. Thank you for being here with us. But yeah, you want to purchase a shirt? Anything like? Say she had a live earlier. Check out a live. She actually gonna be live Saturday as well, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check. Oh, she said that's it. Okay, I did it. Hey, I got one right, Shannon. <laughs> hey, I got one right. <laughs> Cause I'll be messing up some names. I get Rizzo, I got one right, brother. <laughs> nah, I'm messing with y'all. But yeah, so hey, thank you for being here. So I got it right. So you're in the right place. Thank you for being here. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, uh, and again, if you want to follow me, TikTok. That's pretty much what I'm doing right now. A lot of TikToks. A little bit of uh, you know, uh, what is called uh the reels on Instagram, so I still do them sometimes. But TikTok and YouTube is where you can find me at uh mostly. Chris and Pickle say, uh, she say something you crack me up. I ain't even do nothing yet, Chris. I ain't I ain't get started yet. Remember, I've been going a couple of weeks, so hey, I got I got two weeks to make up for, so I ain't started yet. You know, it's one of them things. 
uh, if you're dealing with domestic violence, this is real serious. If you're dealing with domestic violence, this is the number 1 800 799 SAFE. Once again, that's 1 800 799 7233. Save that phone number uh, in your phone. You know, if you want to save it under another name or whatever, but save that number, you know, because calling 911 is one thing, especially in these in these little small towns and things like that. You know, maybe you got to reach out and go a step further and get, you know, domestic violence hotline and get people involved. They can help you get out of these situations. You know, I, I've said this before. Uh, I only can do so much. Shannon only can do so much. People in the chat, Joy, different people can only do so much. You know, 3 a.m., you can call a couple of people. One of them is God and he can help you. And then the other one is calling like this 1-800 number or 911. Obviously, if you're in a situation when it's dealing with domestic violence. So save that number. Uh, 1 800 799 SAFE 7233. Save that number, and uh, yeah, all right, y'all. Let's get into this one. So, this one, this one is freedom after narcissistic abuse is achievable. Again, freedom after narcissistic abuse is achievable. So, a lot of people think that it's not achievable. That you will never be free from the narcissist. A lot of people ask the questions. I mean, if I asked my ex on TikTok earlier, they asked, uh, what, what, what about when you have children with the narcissist? How do you get your freedom and how do you establish boundaries? And I answered her, so I don't know. I'll check back later tomorrow and see if she responded. But I, too, had children or have children. I ain't say had. Have children with a narcissist as well. See, the thing about it, the thing that you have to realize is you have to understand that even though you have children with a narcissist or even, and I know y'all want to talk about this, but I'm going to go, I'm going to go here starting off already. Even if your child is a narcissist, I know a lot of y'all, y'all like, well, Solomon, that's my child. I can't give up on it. I'm not saying give up on them, but I got a question. I got a question. It's not even part of this message, but I got a question and I want y'all to answer in the chat. So if you were married to a narcissist or dating a narcissist, how many of y'all, by a show of hands, you can put a one in the chat, would divorce the narcissist once you find out who they are or break up with them? Just put a one in the chat if you if you would do either or. If, if, if it's a no, put a two. So the question is, how many of you would divorce a narcissist or break up with them as a boyfriend or girlfriend once you realize who they was? Put a one in the chat. It's yes. Two means no. I'm going to put mine in the... Uh, in the chat as well. See the ones coming in as well. So look, Jasmine Henry say one. Donna say one. My wife say one. Tamara Russell say one. Uh, yeah, Alan B. Lyricist, Lee Bell. Den okay, one plus one million. Tiffany say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome, Judah. Bell. So I asked that question for a reason. So if your child is a narcissist, I know we don't want to talk about children a lot, but we have to talk about it. If your child is a narcissist, and we do have children narcissists out there. Don't think that it's just adults that's not. No, they have children that are narcissists as well. So my thing is, if you're going to divorce a husband or a wife or break up with a boyfriend or girlfriend because they narcissists, why wouldn't you do that with a child or a church or a pastor or a mom or a dad, or a stepdad, or a brother, or a, you see where I'm going with this? So if you're willing to do it, it can't be a double standard. It can't be, well, that's my brother, or that's my child, so no, I won't do that. Think about that. Just think about it for a second. You, We all just, most of y'all just put ones in the chat that you would divorce or break up with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a husband if, they're, if they was narcissists. So, hey, how you doing, Dr. G? Welcome, welcome. So why wouldn't you do the same if it's a child or a mom or a brother or a sister or, you know, you go down a list or a job? You know, some of y'all stay at the job because of the money. You want to stay there because you're getting six figures. I get it. But the six figures has you stressed out because you're working for a narcissistic boss. And therefore, you will never get this title, freedom after North. You will never get that freedom because you're stuck in the uh, the rat race. And what I mean by the rat race is you're working for someone that really don't like you. They don't love you. You're just a number to them. They probably don't even know your name. Ask me how I know. That's why it's called faith-based workplace because it's 
the narcissists that leave home, I say this all the time, they leave home at 6, 7 a.m. in the morning that's abusing their wives, you know, what this emotional, physically, whatever. Guess what? They go to work and they supervisors and managers and CEOs. And yeah, now you see what I'm talking about. So these same people are just evil and demonic to just more people instead of four or five people at home. You know, they they evil to their wife or if it's a wife that's, you know, the narcissist, you know, she might just be evil to her husband and her two or three children. But guess what? When she go to work, I don't care if it's at a beauty shop. I don't care if it's at, you know, if it's in a government facility, it doesn't matter. They're going to be evil just to more people. So, again, this is titled Freedom After Narcissistic Abuse is Achievable. I'm here to tell you, yes, it is. It is. It's not a question, but yes, it, it is. It is. It definitely is. Definitely is. All right, let's get into this. You know, I like to break down and get down to the nitty gritty. And I know we all understand what these words mean, but let's take it down to layman terms so we can all understand what it is I'm trying to say. It's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while. Let me see. Say, uh, Tessa, she said, yep, yeah, no amount of money is worth all that. Yeah, definitely. But a lot of people, the thing about it, what I'm saying, a lot of people will stay in these careers or these jobs for 15, 20, 25, 35 years. And you wonder why when they quit their job, y'all know where I'm going with this. When they quit their job, they leave the workforce that they worked all these years. And all of a sudden they pass away. That's because they didn't dedicate it. They all to the job. Basically, they made their job an idol. They made money an idol. That should be real. They should have left their job 20, 30, 40 years ago, but they decided to stay. And I don't care if you know, it was military or job, whatever the case is, they staying too long and should have been left. God told them to leave a long time ago, but they still, hey, how you doing, Miss Ash? Welcome, welcome, hello. But they still stayed. Yeah, still stayed. So let's break this down. Let's break down freedom right quick. I know we know this. Let's break down freedom. The power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint. Well, newsflash, timeout, timeout for y'all that watch football or basketball. You know, the, the, the coach can call a timeout. Well, I'm coaching y'all, so we're gonna call a timeout. See, when you're with a narcissist, when you're with a narcissist, you don't have that power or right to act, speak, or think as, as one wants without hindrance or restraint. Because every time you say something, it's going to be an argument. It's going to be a fight. It's going to be a fuss. It's going to be a fist fight. It's going to be something's going to happen because the narcissist can't get their way. Simple as that. And that's just a simple. So therefore, you would never experience freedom while you married or dating or a, a cuddle buddy, whatever you want to call it, snuggling up with a, a man or woman that's a narcissist. You would never experience that freedom. I hope I'm making sense. So. Freedom also comes at a cost. See, if you if you were a narcissist and you've been with them for a while and y'all got children together and you know you got you know you got a home together, you got vehicles together, vehicles together, you got a business together. Trust me, I get it. You got all these things together. But at some point or sometime, if you want your real freedom, guess what? You're gonna have to separate those things. Everything I just named, you got to separate the finances, you got to separate the businesses you got to separate the home you got to separate the children see that's scary because a lot of people don't want to start over so that tells me a couple things now some of us will talk a good game and say we want freedom and then i just told you the way you can get freedom but you don't want to hear that so you're going to stay in i guess i just call it slavery for lack of better words, you just stay in slavery or narcissistic abuse for years and years to come because you're scared or you're fearful of starting over. So therefore, you can't get the freedom. See, they got fearful, but then you have freedom. See, I said this before, and we didn't heard people say this before. God didn't give us the spirit of fear. So therefore, you're fearful of starting over. Guess what? When you got with that narcissist, you probably was just starting over. Think, I want you to think back when you started dating this jolly joker or 
when y'all proposed or when the match first, you probably had just started over before you got with that jolly joke. So just think about that for a second. But now you're scared to start over again because the narcissist has you believing that it's no way you can do this on your own. You'll never find somebody like them. You, you know, all the things they tell you. You cannot, uh, you'll never find another love like me. The devil is a lie. I don't want to find nobody like you, nobody similar to you, nobody familiar like you, nobody that looks like you, acts like you, talks like you. Hey, I don't want nobody to even walk like you. I'm just saying. Yeah, Chris and Bill, we we getting it. We starting off Jolly Jokers early. So the thing about it, you I'm asking the question again. You're fearful of of what? Because you started over before you got with the Jolly Joker. And you look at your life, you probably then started over a few times. Think about it. From the time you was born to the time the the to today, I guarantee you that started over different things and different parts of your life, time and time again. If, okay, small example. If you was fired from a job or laid off from a job, what did you do? You found another job, so you did what? You started over with a new place of employment. Right or wrong? I'm just saying. Y'all want to go a little bit simpler than that? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We can we, we can break this all the way down. You know, I love breaking things down and use analogies, so we can do this all day. Hold on, let me read this right quick. Let me scroll down. Uh, thank you for that uh, super stick a lot. She said, <laughs> thank you for that. God bless you. May God return it to you over and over again. See, the thing about this, what I want you to understand is, so you got to understand this. You got to understand it and you got to catch it. See, the starting over really isn't the hard part. Let's think about this. It's really easier to start over, especially when you're leaving a narcissistic person. Think about it. If you stay there for three, five, 10, 15, 20, we heard people stay 40 years in a narcissistic relationship, wouldn't you think it'd be easier to just to start over? I know you're like, well, Simon, that's just words what you're saying. I mean, yeah, you're saying that, but it ain't that easy. Okay. Okay. So I don't want to play the devil's advocate, but let's, let, let's do it this way. So let's say you stay with the narcissist for 10 years. And they destroy your character. They destroy your life for the most part. They destroy who you look like because, you know, they're evil. They, they drain you. They got, We call them energy vampires. So, therefore, they destroy who you are as a person over the course of them 10 years. But if you just would have started over after year one, see, you recognize the red flags. So, I have the red flag like Shannon got. But you recognize the red flags and you see what was going on, but you decided to stay another day. This ain't that type of war. This ain't that type of fight where you got to, oh, I'm going to come back and fight it. They ain't, no, they ain't that kind of battle that we in. See, when people say that, oh, just stay to fight another day, that's like going to a workplace that you kind of don't want to quit because maybe your boss, I ain't saying he a narcissist, but maybe he just, you know, he, he just evil and he need to, some, some retraining or something like that. No, we're talking about a narcissist, a full-fledged demonic entity, if I may, uh, controlling and talking to you and calling you out your name and cursing you out and all these different things that you're going to deal with, you're going to have children with. And then and when you think about it, you're going to end up raising little baby narcissists. I know you're like, well, that ain't how that happened. Well, prove me wrong then. Prove me wrong. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So again, freedom. See, if you really want to get freedom, you're going to have to do some things to get freedom. Freedom comes at a cost. So you're going to have to probably start over, start anew, start your life over. You're going to have to do a, a, a reset. You're going to have to go to God and say, look, I need to start over. So see, if you really want freedom, like uh, what's her name? Uh, Tammy, uh, what, what, like she just said, she's she been no contact for three weeks. But guess what? She's about to start over. She's going to get her things from that house, bringing her sons with her, which is safety. I agree with that. To go get her things because guess what? She's starting over. So it happened. Her, her, her restart started three weeks ago. Lee, brother, uh, Lee came in early, so he'd been no contact one year yesterday. Guess what? His restart started 365 days ago. I guess you can say 366 now. Just think about what I'm saying. All y'all have had a restart, so 
don't be so scared about restarting. We restart stuff all the time. We restart video games. We restart the washing machine. We wash dishes. Guess what? They dirty. That's why I don't agree with dishwashers. Ask me. I mean, just think about it. You put it, you, you rinse it off. We talked, me and my wife doing something about like this the other day. You rinse the dishes off to put them in a dishwasher for the dishwasher to wash them, only to take them out of the dishwasher and wash them over. So guess what you just did? You just restarted again. I know that's small scale when we talk about narcissists, but just think about what I'm saying. So you didn't wash the dishes three times. So you started over three times. Some of y'all leave the house and forget your purse or forget your wallet. Guess what? You got to come back home and get what you need because you can't buy what you want to at the store because you ain't got your credit card or your money. So guess what? You got to start over. So you got to come back. So starting over, we should be quite familiar with starting over because we do it all the time. You got to restart your computer. Guess what? When you need an update, what the computer does, it restarts. My Xbox, when I just when I just started the other day, guess what? It had to update, so it had to restart. I thought I was about to play a game, and I had to wait about 10 minutes for it to restart. So we familiar with restart. We restart all the time. So or just think about what I'm saying. You shouldn't be that scared of the restart because we do it all the time. We restart our day every day, seven days out of the week. Think about it. You go to sleep, you wake up, you start another day. You go to sleep, you wake up, you start another day. It's restarting. Like Lolly just said, new beginnings, fresh start. It's the same no matter which way, which way you look at it. So the thing about it is if you really want freedom and you want to be able to have that power to be able to say what you need to say and nobody in your ear or, or calling out your name and belittling you and you know talking about you to your family, you might have to restart. So you might have to file for divorce. You might have to get some paperwork. You might have to find your apartment, find your place to stay. You might have to live with family for a little while till you get on, on your feet. But again, that's part of the restart. If you really want freedom, you're going to do what you must. You're going to do what you need to, to be able to, to be able to get what you need to get. So again, freedom, Marie, this one more time, the power or right to act, speak, or think as one wants without hindrance or restraint, which we all know the narcissist would not let you do that. Nah, ain't no way. They ain't gonna let you do it. Moving right along. So narcissistic abuse. I know we know what this means, but I want to break it down just in case somebody just learned about this or somebody watching the replay, somebody new here just don't know, but let's get into this. So narcissistic abuse, a type of emotional abuse where the abuser only cares about themselves. How many of y'all didn't been with a person that only cares about themselves? How many of y'all didn't work with a person that only care about themselves? I have. I know a lot of y'all have. So, and may use words and actions to manipulate or control. Uh, that's that's what narcissistic abuse is. I pulled this right out of, uh, I think, the Western Dictionary. It's, that's that's what it is. It ain't no no other way to. That, that's that, that that's what it is. Again, narcissism is a type of emotional abuse where the abuser only cares about themselves and may use words and actions to manipulate or control. Remember, we're trying to get freedom. We're trying to be free. We're trying to be set free. We're trying to restart or get a redo. We can't do that in a narcissist abuse relationship because it's, it's emotional abuse. See, I, I've said this before and I've said over and over again. See, emotional abuse to me is much worse than physical abuse because physical abuse, even if you got a black eye or a scratch or whatever, those things heal over time. Usually, in most cases. Emotional abuse can take years and years and years and decades if it ever heals. It might not ever heal. So, therefore, to me, emotional abuse is much, much harder to get rid of. Did he's close to say, uh, Lord God, send freedom in Jesus' name. Yes, amen to that. Amen to that. So see, this is the thing you got to realize about narcissists. Narcissists want to keep you from being free. How do we start off with freedom? Freedom. F-R-E-E, -E, freedom. They don't want you to be free. They don't want you to have freedom. They want to manipulate and control you. Therefore, you'll never have freedom. 
Yeah, I believe. Hey, how you doing, Jessica Cloud? Th think about it this way. How you doing, Donna Green? She said, Donna Green said, I finally caught a lot after months. Well, thank you. Hey, I, I've been off. I've been hiatus for a couple of weeks or so, but we here. Thank you for being here. God bless you. So, so think about this. Being that the narcissist doesn't want you to be free, and I heard Shannon mention something about this early on her live. See, that's why they want you to have children with them, men and women. Oh, don't just think it's, it's, it's men want to knock you up or win. No, it, it's both. They both do it. Because, therefore, they have legal access to you, or they think that by having a child with you, they're going to be able to control you, and therefore... You got at least at least 18 years where you would not be free because they'll be able to call you. They'll be able to threaten you. They'll be able to call you on your child phone when they're old enough to get an iPhone or whatever phone they have. See, it's all about manipulation. It's all about tactics. It's all about just being straight evil. Hey, how you doing? Power Dynamics for Life. Welcome, welcome. So you got to realize that these people have evil intentions. See, you got some of these jolly jokers, they wake up with evil thoughts in their mind. It, it, it's a lot of evil going on in the world right now. We see it on the news if you watch the news. I don't watch it as much, but you can turn on the channel right now, and I guarantee they're talking about uh, what? Ukraine. Uh, what else, Rizzo? They're talking about Uvalde, Texas, the shooting that just happened with all them children that just got killed and the two adults. They're talking about uh, what other killing happened, Rizzo? Uh, I can't remember. I think it was Brooklyn, Boston, somewhere up there. They what I'm saying is, see, narcissists are just like those people. They evil and they control the narrative. So by them controlling the narrative, you can't get freedom. Heck, you can't even seek freedom because you with this person 24-7. And God forbid if you, yeah, Buffalo, New York, thank you for that, Rizzo. God forbid that during COVID, when it first happened, you was in the house with one of these jolly jokers on lockdown 24-7. That's worse than a prison sentence. Think about it. If, if you're in this house with, with a person 24-7 that they, they abuse you anyway, whether it's physically, mentally, or whatever, they, they've been doing that time and time again. But, you know, maybe they had to go to work or maybe they had to do this, so, you know, they was gone a lot. But if they're in the house 24-7, and we, 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 we read reports that the news was reporting that Domestic violence was up when COVID happened and they put everybody on lockdown. See, domestic violence went up, but nobody wanted to say domestic violence and narcissist abuse was one and the same. Newsflash. Oh, I guarantee a lot of them jolly jokers that was doggone getting arrested for domestic violence probably was narcissistic. I'm just saying you can you can go figure that out on your own. I'm just saying. Think about what I'm saying, because think about it. I can tell you one more thing that happened right when. When COVID happened, you know what happened? What what went down? My phone wasn't, now I said this before, my phone wasn't buzzing. It wasn't really going off at all. It was Amber Alerts. You're like, son, what are you talking about? Hold on, just hold on. So the Amber Alerts, remember back in 2020 when COVID first happened? I don't know if you can remember this, but Amber Alerts went basically to nothing. It was no child getting kidnapped. It was nothing going on. But as soon as the the the... I guess you can say they got their freedom. They're able to go back out and pry and do evil stuff. Guess what? Amber Alerts is going off three, four, five times a day. It was a spike because these evil people were back on the pry. I'm just saying. So look, look, look at the links that, that, that I just said. So Amber Alerts went down. Domestic violence went up. I can't make this up, but I don't need to go do research on it. I'm telling you what I know. Just think about it. Just think back to 2020. Amber alerts, silver alerts, all them alerts. My phone wasn't doing nothing. It was nothing, zilch. But guess what was happening? Domestic violence was on the end, spiking, going high, high, high. Cops getting called out to every house because these evil jolly jokers was at home doing what they do best, being jolly jokers. I'm just saying. So to get that freedom, you got to realize that you got to do something to get that freedom. You're going to have to restart. You got to restart. You got to restart. So freedom comes at a cost. Freedom comes at a cost. Think about Jesus on the cross. We have to take our freedom and healing seriously. See, I got it in caps. 
Think about Jesus on the cross. I'm not comparing the two, but I want you to think about Jesus on the cross and realize that we have to take our freedom and our healing. See, some of y'all take your healing serious, and that's good. You need to, but you don't take your freedom seriously. Or it's vice versa. You take your freedom seriously, but you're not taking your healing. No, it's you got to do both. You have to take your healing and your freedom seriously because they go hand in hand. Think about what I'm saying. So if you with a narcissist and you can't get free from them, how you go heal? But if you leave the narcissist and you just free, but you're not working on your healing, how are you going to heal? I just asked you the same question twice, but differently. Just think about what I'm telling you. So think about this. So if you did all this, they escape. Why wouldn't you concentrate on your healing? I mean, you didn't got free. You didn't bought a new house. You didn't bought a new car. But yet still, you wonder why you get in another relationship with a narcissist. That's because you haven't healed yet. Yes, you got the freedom. And God give us free will to do what we want and all that. But you haven't healed yet. So remember, I did a video a while back. If you ain't watched it, go check it out. It's called uh, Don't Waste Your Weight. Talking about that season of wilderness. So my point is, if you didn't take that time, that season of wilderness, if you didn't take that time to really understand what you just went through or what you're currently going through and have God just talk to you, just sit your little butt down and just listen, well, this is the thing. That's why you end up with a narcissist again and again and again. It's not until... You take your freedom and your healing, both of them seriously, then you begin to understand that, okay, I have to really do a restart. It's not just buying a new house and a car and showing, you know, showing people, no, hey, we ain't keeping up with the Joneses. No, that ain't what we're doing. It's not just that. It's not material. So don't get caught up in, oh, I got the show that I can buy a house and a car. That, nah, that's not what it's about. Mm -mm. Nah, that ain't what it's about. It's about you getting your freedom but then also getting your healing. See, if you heal, then you turn around and help somebody else heal. See, you can't help somebody else heal if you're not healed yourself because you don't know what to tell them. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Tammy Russell said the narcissist was, was our lesson. Yes, definitely. I agree with that. I definitely agree with that. So first Bible verse, Galatians 5, 1, for freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, it say stand firm, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. See, I wonder why I said slavery earlier. See, when I put the Bible verse in there, I remember it mentioned it, and I was like, well, see, going back to narcissist abuse again, let's go back and walk this dog back again. So if you stay with the narcissist and you're not equally yoked, I'm not putting stuff in the Bible verses right there. It say, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. <sighs> When you break this verse down and you break down narcissist abuse and you just think about it for a second, you basically, when you go back to him or go back to her or go back because of your children or go back because of finances, now you're submitting yourself back to slavery. Because you know you're not equally yoked with that jolly joker anyway, whether they male or female. That's number one. Number two, you're going back for the wrong reason. You're not going back because you love them. You're going back because of your children or because of finance or because of this or because of that but it's plain as day if you read the bible enough you begin to understand that you know what i can't continue doing what i've been doing and expecting different results because we all know that's insanity doesn't work like that so i got a couple of questions for y'all and i hope y'all participate in the chat a couple of questions nothing serious first question what does freedom mean to you? And I'm going to actually read them out. I ain't know I was going to do this, but I'm actually going to read them. What, just think about this for a second. What does freedom mean to you? What does freedom mean to you? I'll give you a few seconds to answer that. What does freedom mean to you? Donna Green say, two years free from narc abuse. Praise God. Hey, man, we should be throwing flames and praising hands in the chat. Donna Green, thank you for that. God bless you. May God return it to you over and over again. Two years is an awesome accomplishment. Awesome. Thank you for that. God bless you. Okay. Let me get back over here. Okay. Starting to come in. Miss Spanish lady said mean freedom means peace. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Miss Ash says, uh, let me hold on. Let me scroll down. Uh, freedom means peace. I can keep going. Oh, yeah. See y'all. See, 
See how y'all are coming up with the same thing? I was thinking the same thing too. Peace of mind. Jessica Cloud say, Janice say personal choices. Amen to that. My wife says, Shannon says, freedom is healing. Freedom is being set free from bondage. Amen to that. Okay, I just read a piece of mind. Yes. Uh, Joanne says, I can move forward and freely. You can do what you want without having to answer to somebody. We all adults. Why you got to answer to a person? Brother Adam B. say, freedom means to me running around after the shackles are off my ankle. Boy, ain't you telling the truth? She says, peace, no harassment, no division, no chaos, being free in God. See, the narcissist will not allow you to be free in God. It just won't, won't work like that. No more courts. Now, that's free. Because the narcissist will have you in court, especially when the narcissist has money. They will have you in court every day, at least once or twice a month, if not three times a month, if they can. Because what they're trying to do, basically, they're trying to control your pockets because guess what? They got you in court making you waste your time. You're taking off work, so you you losing out of money. They know this, so therefore, they're controlling your freedom. Evil. Very, very evil. Tammy said, peace of mind. Yes, definitely agree with that. Yeah, I agree with this, Shannon. Yeah, th these are good. Yeah, I, this is the first time here. I like to do things like this where we participate because everybody gets to understand and learn that it's not just you. Look how many people said peace. It, it's not just you. We all looking for the same stuff. We all want to be able to come home to, guess what? Peace. That's one of my favorite things, to come home and just be peaceful. Alan B and I didn't talk about this before. You know, at times in the past, with the ex, you would drive up. You see the car, I would drive for another hour or so because I didn't want to go home because I did not want to deal because that wasn't peaceful for me. I'm just saying. It, it wasn't. It wasn't peaceful. Let me see me read it. Come. Lee Bell say, freedom is, is Jesus. Amen to that. Yes. Stephanie said, uh, freedom to be who you are and not apologize for it. That ain't that the truth? You got to sit there and apologize because this jolly joke, man, come on. Don't get me started on, on, on these people. Don't get me started on them. Janet say, freedom, happiness. I'm with you on that. Happiness. See, you cannot be happy being married or dating or being in a narcissistic family. You just won't. You'll have, now, I will say this. You'll have glimpses of happiness, but you will not have true happiness. Just like you'll have glimpses of freedom. You know, you might go, you know, they might let you go on a girl's trip. You know what I'm saying? A narcissist might even pay for it. The Jolly Joker might even pay for it. You know, or you might go on a, a boy's trip and y'all go out to Vegas and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. And then you got one of them Jezebel, that Jolly Joker might pay for it too. What do they pay for it? Now, what I'm saying is they'll give you a look. Listen, well, you think you're free, but guess what? You got to come back to where you left, which is you going back home to be with this Jolly Joker 24-7 again. So they give you like a little taste of freedom. But that's not true freedom. It's not. It's really not. Yeah, see, she said literally in court multiple times. Oh, I know. They ain't in court all the time. They're trying to, they trying to, they're trying to uh mess up your finances, mess up your time, still want to look at you. You know, they dressing up all night. And then what this jolly joke will do if it's a man, they'll bring their new girlfriend to court. Just to show off. And some of the women to do that too. They'll bring the new man to court just to show off. So you can see, oh, I got I got somebody new. Well, I'm gonna be praying for him because he's about to get everything I had, then some. So think about that for a second. I'm gonna I'm pray for that, brother. I'm pray for that sister because guess what? I know I already know what you got. You think you got a dime piece? Okay. Okay. You got you a jolly joke or goofball, is what you got. You got a goofball. I know, I know they 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 don't look like a clown because they got all this makeup on, but they take that stuff off. That's a clown over there. You got a straight clown. Just saying. Hate to be mean, but it's called the truth. You got a clown. You got a clown. Sitting in court with a clown. Oh, y'all know I didn't told y'all my story. Sitting in, y'all don't want to get me started with the uh what it is, Kristen. I can't think of it. What it is, Chris? The 1970s nun. I mean it. You in court and they come to come dressed up like a 1970s nun. What 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 do you have on? For y'all that didn't catch that live, hey, uh, I don't remember which one it was, but yeah, that's what I had to deal with in court, going through a divorce 
And this John and Joker come dressed up. Yeah, Kristen put up a 1970s nun. That's how she came dressed up with her arm wrap. What, what do we do? What, what did you get these clothes from? What Goodwill store did you go to that they had 1970s nun clothes? Or did you go to the uh, Halloween store and I, I'm just, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. I don't know where you got them clothes. I've never seen them clothes before in my life. I can't make this stuff up, y'all. Can't make it up. Can't make it up. So don't be surprised when you're going through a divorce and they come up dressed like a 1970s nun. You're going to be like, first thing you'll think, Solomon said, Solomon said that, that. And don't do like I did because I bust out laughing in court. Yeah, I did. I sure did. I mean, loud. Like, loud, you know, one of them loud laughs. My attorney like, man, you can't do that. Too late, already done. <laughs> I can't, I can't get a redo. Too late, it's already done. <laughs> already done. Dude, she said, "Amen to that." Sound working on our healing so we can turn and help someone else heal until we all free. Amen to that. God bless you. May God return it to you over and over again. And you're right. We need to make sure all our brothers and sisters in Christ are set free from narcissism. abuse. That's why it's so important for us. Not only to get free, but to get healed as well, because then we can tell them. See what I'm saying? But thank you for that. Thank you for that. So don't get caught up in the 1970 nun thing and laugh and thinking this Jada Joker just look nah. They they up to something. They up to something. And the plans of the evil person is gonna show its true colors because see her plan was. Hey, how you doing, Mimi Marcel? Welcome, welcome. She said, I caught another live. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you for being there. God bless you. Yes, you did. You caught another one. We live, we live and, and active in this one tonight. So good job. <laughs> so see, when these people show up dressed like a 1970s nun or a 1970 priest or whatever the clothes they have on, looking like a Marvel character with no powers. When they dress like that, guess what? They got a hidden agenda because they're trying to make sure you don't get free. They try It's a setup. It's an okie doke, a banana in a tailpipe. Whatever word you want to use, just be ready. Because when they come dressed up like that 1970s nun, I can tell you this goofball, what she did was she had her arm wrapped trying to say that I had grabbed her arm and bruised it, but I had no police reports, no witnesses, no proof of anything but she see her, her whole thing with the ballerina slippers on oh yeah she had the whole outfit on that i don't know how it worked but she had the ballerina slippers on white stockings never seen the west stockings all dressed before except when we got married can't make this up and, and the 1970s outfit on when she came in there her agenda was to come off like a loving caring wife and mother that needed assistance you see what i'm saying i'm not making this up but the thing was, see, if you got a judge that can see through stuff, luckily my judge can see through stuff, she seen the okie doke. She was like, nah, hold on, something, something not quite right. Never seen it before, but something just wasn't right. And then see, this Johnny Drake was so mad, had to turn around. So they don't know what healing and true freedom is. She turned around and filed her own attorney. I can't make this stuff up. Can't make it up. I'm just saying. Yeah, Joe, I said it, 1970s nun with ballerina slippers on. Yeah, she had with white stockings and an uh, arm wrap with a little a little white bow. I don't know. I don't know. You, you're not supposed to wear white at the Labor Day. I don't know. I don't know what she had. I don't know where she got that outfit from to this day. I don't know. Funny now. I was laughing. I was laughing then. It was funny then. I laughed in court. I'm just saying. Okay, I'm going to leave y'all. I'm going to leave y'all. <laughs> John say not the ballerina slip. John, I'm telling you that hey, had the whole outfit on, so the whole everything, outfit, dressed down, ready to go. I ain't know what, if she was going dancing the ballerina thing or going pray at the covenant. I mean, <laughs> at the covenant, not the covenant, at the covenant. I don't know what was going on. I was confused. Maybe she was doing both. Maybe she was going to spin around like a ballerina all the way to the covenant and didn't pray. I don't know, and I never really seen her pray. So y'all. Y'all figure that one out. I don't know. I'm just saying. Told y'all, I've been two weeks. I've been live, so y'all can get everything. <laughs> y'all can get everything. <laughs> so the other question, the other question. We moving right along. How many of you are still trapped in narcissistic abuse? I'm praying you're not, but how many of you are still trapped in narcissistic abuse? And when I say that, I don't mean you're still married to the joker or you're still living in a house with them, but, you know, they still... They still calling your phone. They still texting you and emailing you. 
I guess you, I guess that's really not trap, but you, you, you understand what I'm saying. Down a book to say I'm through. I, I, hey, I'm just, I'm just saying. I had to call it like I see. Y'all, y'all want me to keep it real over here, right? So I gotta, gotta say what I say. I mean, I, that's what I seen. That's what these two eyes say. That's what I seen. That's what I seen. Christine Bilk. I seen the ballerina shoes with the white, with the white stockings and the the nun dress on with a white bow with the arm wrap, looking like. I don't know what she was going. <laughs> if, it, if it was Halloween, she had the outfit down to the t shirt. Got a lot of candy that day. <laughs> if it was Halloween, she'd have came back with a with a bag full of candy. Like, oh, you're so cute, this little ballerina nun outfit. On. <laughs> Good to go. I'm just saying. Let me see. Let me jump into the chat. Let me see. Let's see. A lot of she say I I am, but being legally abused with. Frivolous lawsuits. I want to be free. And we praying for your freedom. We praying that you get that freedom. Because that freedom, it just, it feels so good. It's just, it's, it's exciting. I don't, how many of y'all agree that it's just exciting just to be free and just, you know what I'm saying? Being able to, I don't know, man. Like, you, you can come home when you want to. You can cook what you want to. You can wear what you want to. You ain't got to be a trophy wife for the women. For the men, you ain't got to sit there and, and and, you know, have this five foot woman beating on you, and you six foot five, and trying to explain to your homeboy where you're getting these scratches and cuts from. I'm just saying, I'm not even being funny right now, I'm being serious. Say, when you free, you really free, and, and it, it's just different. It's different. I love, I love, I love the freedom. I, 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 I love it. I love being able to, to, to just come home and just witness, you know, freedom. I hear with Shannon and the kids, and he just. It's, it's, it's a different vibe. Y'all you, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a different vibe when you're not with a narcissist or you ain't got to deal with narcissistic individuals or even when you see them, you can call them narcissists or narcissists. I ain't saying you got to say it to their face, but what I'm saying is your discernment tells you this person is a narcissist. That's because you got freedom. You got discernment. You, you, yeah, 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 I understand what I'm saying. Like, like Mimi Marcia just said, she said, let me put that up there. She said, no more, no more walking on. I said no more down in Mississippi. <laughs> I'm from Louisiana, but hey, no more walking on eggshell. You're right. That's that's freedom. You know what I'm saying? You, you can do things differently when you're free. See, real freedom, you, you recognize real freedom. You know what real freedom is. You can you can feel it. It, it, it. I can't explain it. It's not something that you write down on paper and somebody say you free. No, you feel it. And you know what's going on. It's like it's like when the Holy Spirit take over, you know, when you praising God and doing your praise dance or reading your Bible, and it's the same thing. Like you can feel real freedom. I'm just I know I can I, I can feel it, and it feels good. It, it's different. You're able to do different things and, and talk a certain way and, and be yourself. At the end of the day, you're able to be yourself. But see, the flip side of that is when you get that real healing. See, when you get that healing mixed with that freedom. And you got the discernment and you stepping out on faith. Oh my goodness. You that's like a man, that's like a good cake or some good ice cream. I don't know. It's just all good. So again, you got the freedom, the healing, the discernment, and you stepping out on faith, man. You're gonna see things start to happen that has never happened to you before. And that's to all each each one of y'all in this live, every one of y'all that's gonna watch this replay. Just think about what I'm saying. When you get to that level. It, 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 it takes time. It's not going to happen overnight. But you can do it. I believe it. I, I, I know you can. I'm waiting for the praise reports because I know it's going it's to happen at some point at some time. All right, let's keep moving. About to, I don't know about to wrap it up, but we're we moving right along. Let me see. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Okay, so let's keep moving. So being at war, fighting for your country, being at war with a person you married to, i.e. narcissist. I ain't saying that the same, but I want you to just think about it. every time I read one of these things. I got another one I'm going to put up. So again, being at war, fighting for your country. I can attest to that. Alan B., Shannon, anybody else who's in the military, thank you for being in the military uh, and all that. But and Alan B. said this all the time. He'd rather go back to war than deal with a narcissist. But see, if you're at war in your home or you're fighting for your country, a war is a war. It's just the narcissist war. It's like Alan B. We talked about this before. At least I know who my enemy is usually at war. 
I can see them. They got certain uniform on, certain guns. They drive certain vehicles. See, a covert narcissist, I cannot tell they the enemy until the mask falls. I want y'all to catch this. So think about what I'm saying. So if you're in the military war, if you're in the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, whatever, Coast Guard, do Coast Guard go to war? I don't even know they go to war. I don't know. But any one of them, you kind of know who your enemy is. But if you were a covert narcissist, whether it's a male or a female, usually female, but they got some men out there that's covert too. The thing about them is they show you one side of them. And Shannon mentioned this earlier in the live. I didn't said it before. They two faces. So what we mean by that is they go show you the good side. You know how people always take these pictures, you know, and they, you know, how women be doing their selfies, they take these pictures and certain angles and stuff. I don't do selfies, ain't my thing. But they take these pictures, do these selfies, and they want to get their good side. Well, the narcissist is also showing you their good side. They're showing you their selfie side. What do I mean by that? they showing you the side that everybody likes and loves. But, oh, wait, when when you take this way, this is the good side. Oh, but when that Jolly Joker spin this way, and you get that evil, demonic, twisted sense of humor, that Jolly Joker start being the Jolly Joker that they are, Oh, that selfie is going to look different. you going to see, like Shannon had said before, you're going to see the black eyes. You're going to see the red eyes. Somebody mentioned in our chat today. You're going to see the evil for what evil is, and you're going to realize that, oh, you didn't make a mistake. You, you didn't make a mistake. You, you, you didn't screw it up. You, you didn't mess up. Like, think about what I'm saying. You See, a mistake is... Uh, a, a mistake is like something like I mentioned earlier. Like I, I, I get ready to go get my car washed and I forget my wallet at home. That's a mistake. Or I go to the grocery store and Shannon told me to pick up milk and I forget to get the milk, but I get all this other. Uh, that's a mistake. I can I can fix that because I can go back to the store and get the milk. I can come back home and get my wallet. Well, I'm to come back home and get my wallet to get my car washed. But what I'm saying is, see, getting married to a narcissist, that's not a mistake. It's See, you was targeted. I done said this before. See, you was targeted. You was targeted because the narcissist sought you out. They seen the light in you and they want to snuff you out. See? Like Shannon just said. Well, I just seen it. Oh, let me pop that up before I keep moving. I just seen it. She said you are preaching the good. that good side is fake. Fake as a $3 bill. Me and Rizzo say this all the time. Faker than a three dollar bill. That's that good side. But a lot of us get the good side. That fake three dollar bill looks like a dollar bill or a two dollar bill or a five dollar bill. It looks real. It feels real. It it it. If you to go to the store, you might get by with it until they really scan this. So what I'm saying is, until you really look at this person for who they are, and your discernment kicks in, and your faith kicks in, and God, you start listening to God. You'll realize that this Jolly Joker is not who they say they are. They might as well be 007. They are secret agent. They they identity. They they told you their name was Paul or, or, or John or Tim or Luca, whatever they told you, or Sarah, whoever their name is, they ain't who they is. They they got alter egos. Like, and I ain't trying to say anything about Beyonce. Yes, I am. Uh, it's like Beyonce being Sasha Fierce. Yeah, you get Beyonce one day, but then you get Sasha Fears, and I've seen Sasha Fears perform before. She's, she's a little bit demonic. Ask me how I know. I'm just saying. Sasha Fears and Beyonce, no, they're not one and the same. You got Beyonce. She's the good girl, the family wife, and the mother, and holier than thou. Yeah, I'm talking in a weird voice. And that's who she is. But when she flips and turns into Sa Sasha Fears, you get evil, and I want to wipe myself with Bible pages and talk about God. I don't think y'all listen to me. I must be talking to myself. I, I don't think y'all listen to me. Y'all not listening. That's all right. I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. Somebody go hear me sooner or later. Kristen listening to me. She said, for real, Solomon Tillett. See, that's the thing. And I can name celebrity after celebrity, and we can go down this list. Am I saying they're narcissists? No, I'm not saying they're all narcissists, but I'm saying a lot of them jolly jokers are, are jolly jokers. And her husband ain't no different. I was listening to Jay-Z earlier. You know, you listen to a lot of his verses. This dude think he claims to be a god. I used to listen to Jay-Z back in the day. I had to stop listening to Jay-Z. That's even before I knew about narcissists. I just, like, this dude going down a path that I don't 
want to be associated with. I had to get my freedom. See, it's a lot of rapper. Kendrick Lamar just dropped the album. I don't know if y'all seen it. I ain't listen. I don't listen to Kendrick. I used to, but that boy just dropped the album. He got a uh, thorn, uh, whatever you call the thing going on his head and stuff, calling himself Jesus and talking about he uh, uh what he said he was uh I can't think of the name, but they call they call it the same thing on Marvel. Uh, not a god, but a mini god, whatever they call it. demigod. Demigod. That boy say he a demigod. Go look up demigod. Then you gonna be like, wait, what? What? Yeah, can't just say he a demigod. Okay. And I didn't listen to the music. I was reading stuff. Somebody was talking about it, so I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, Dr. G say she listening. Okay, I got a few people listening here. I got a couple of y'all listening. Yeah, that's right, Shane. Demigod. The boy say he a demigod. What? Kendra, you a you a demigod? You, you from Compton and now you're a demigod? Make that make sense. So I'm not saying God can't come from Compton. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying, you from, from Compton, California, not Louisiana. You from the hood, let's say, but now you're a demigod. Is it just me or it seems like we're in some kind of alternate universe or something? Because the stuff I'm hearing, I'm like, nah. Nah, you so you a demi okay. You you a demigod. Joanne says she here, but thank you, Joanne. Okay. Yeah, you 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 a demigod. Okay. Okay, brother. Okay. <laughs> I'm not listening to you. I'm I'm good. I you I used to support you. I used to like the music and you, you didn't went way left for me. I'm good. And a lot of celebrities have have done that, not just rappers and singers, uh, a lot of these genre jokers, even actors and actresses. We ain't got to get started on Will Smith and Jada, none of that stuff. I just seen a thing earlier. Matter of fact, let me pull it up my phone. So I was going to save it for this. See, it just came up. Let me see. Where is it at? Where is it at? Because Jada just said, oh, here, go right here. Now, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch what Jada said. But I'm going to read. It said, Jada Pinkett Smith addresses 2022 or 2022 Oscars on RTT, whatever that is. I don't watch that. But she say. That's what this. This is what Jada said. I was about to call her Jezebel. This is what Jada said. Jada said, "My hope is that Will Smith and Chris Rock will reconcile." Man, come on. Who, who, who in charge of this stuff? Who? Come on, man. Who, who made this up? It, 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 this, I'm not making this up. Look, it, look, you can see it. It's on my phone. Is this a joke? Is it, this a joke? I. This can't be real. So. She allowed her husband to go up there and slap the man, which I, I I told you I thought it was all fake anyway. If you look at it, I thought it was fake. I never seen somebody lean in to get slapped. I if a Johnny Joker walk up to me and you about to slap me, me, you're gonna be throwing hands. Not you're not gonna make it back to that red seat that you're sitting there and go back and just sit there and smile. Nah, you gonna have a couple of teeth missing. I'm just saying, I don't know no man that's gonna sit there and let another man just slap him and just oh, okay. We cool? Yeah, okay. But Jada is now saying she hopes that Will Smith and Chris Rock can reconcile. Man, come on, man. Y'all got to be kidding me. I can't make this stuff up. They give me content every day. If I just pick up my phone or on the news, they give me content to talk about every day. It, it, that popped up early. I was like, you got to be kidding me. Like, this this is what we're doing, Jada? This is what? Okay. That's Holly Weird. Go watch my video about Holly Weird. I did two of them. Go, go watch them videos after this and you go figure out what I'm talking about. That's Holly Weird. That's some Holly Weird people. It's not Hollywood. They Holly Weird. They do weird stuff. They slap each other, sleep with each other, and then they are, yeah, See, scandals. That, that's what it is. Scandal. That's what it is. Definitely a scandal. So these people, boy, I tell you, I can't make this up. Pop up on my phone earlier. <laughs> she said that's ridiculous. It sure is. It sure is ridiculous. I'm like, man, come on, man. Come on, man. So I want you to realize this, that love does not equal slavery. So if you in love with somebody, you not. If you in love with somebody, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, mama, daddy, brother, sister, auntie, you put it in love with whoever. That don't mean that you enslaved to this person. That don't mean that they're your master. That don't mean that. They ain't controlling you. At some point or some time, you got to get your freedom. I don't care who it is or whom it is. I don't care if it's at work. If you're at work and you don't feel free, maybe you need to find a new job. If you addicted to watching certain TV shows and you feel you got to watch this show every day, 
maybe that's a form of slave. You need to get your freedom and stop watching that show. I, I'm just saying. I'm just calling it like I see it. Just, just, just bear with me while we walk this thing out. I'm just saying. I seen something pop up. Hold on. Thank you for that uh super sticker, lyricist. God bless you. Sister. Hey, I go check out Lyricist's album, sister. Uh, I be forgetting stuff. I, she she dropped two albums actually. So go check out her albums. Uh, check her out. She can rap. She's a lyricist. That's her name, man. you know, lyricist. But go check her out, man. Uh, thank you for that. May God return it to you over and over again. Don't get caught up on some of these things where you thinking that. Well, I got a child with this person, or I'm married to this person. I just said it before. I'm gonna keep saying it. Or oh, we got a house together, or this, that, and the third. Love does not equal slavery. So if you feel that you're enslaved to this person or enslaved to a certain thing, you might need to get rid of that thing. You might want to throw it away like yesterday's garbage or tomorrow's garbage. I'll trash man pass tomorrow. We're gonna bring some garbage out there. So maybe you want to throw it outside so the trash truck can come do what it do and pick the trash up. Maybe you need to throw away Mr. Narcissus and, uh, yeah, throw them away, too, like yesterday's garbage, because these people are not going to change. I know some of y'all think they're going to change. If I keep praying for them, they're going to change. If I keep talking to them, they're going to change. If I go to counseling to them with them, they're going to change. If I, if I love on them a little bit more, they're going to change. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. And then the next question always comes, well, Solomon, God can change. Yes, he can change anybody, but why would he change somebody that has a reprobate mind and doesn't want to be changed? Therefore, again, don't get caught up with narcissists being changeable. Get caught up in this message. Listen to this message. Freedom after narcissistic abuse is achievable. I did one about narcissist change. You want me to do another? We can do another one so we can break that down too. But narcissists are only going to change for the worst. You need to get your freedom. You need to get away from this shot of joker. That's how you get your freedom. It's also how you get your heal. Just saying. Two points for me for telling you that. <laughs> Two points for you if you're listening. All right, y'all, let's keep moving. Next by verse, John 8, 32. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you what? Free. See, you know the narcissist is a narcissist. You know they evil. You know they worship the devil. You know they do demonic stuff. You know they're abusive. You know they don't love you. You know they don't trust you. You know all these things, but yet still, some of us are still caught up with the narcissist. Why is that? We can say it's due to trauma. It can't. It, it can't be. We can say they've they've lied to us. They, they did. We can say that we don't have the finances to leave. And some of us don't. We can say all these things, but at the end of the day, we go stop saying stuff and start doing something. See, I can say all these different things, but it's going to come a point in time I'm going to take my freedom and my healing seriously. So therefore, I'm going to have to do something. See what I'm saying? I'm going to have to do something to get both of them. And if I want to get freedom and healing and get away from a narcissist, I'm going to have to do something to do that. That might be divorcing the person I love. See, I'm doing my air quotes. I might have to leave the city that I grew up in because the narcissist is there. I don't know. I'm not really saying you're running from your problems, but maybe you need to, what, what I talked about when I first started, maybe you need to have a restart in a new city. Some of y'all need to go to another country. I don't know, but you need to at least move to another city and have a restart. Some of y'all want to stay in the same house because, well, you and the narcissist bought that house and Maybe you need to sell that house. You looking for an agent? I'm a real estate agent. I, I, I can help you no matter what state you're in. Matter of fact, you can go to other countries. I can help you too. So just because I'm in Texas don't mean I cannot help you as a real estate. So if you're looking to sell or buy, shameless plug, I know, but I am a real estate agent as well. So the, the thing that I want you to realize is just because, just because Miss Ash say another country. Hey, I'm just being real. If you're trying to buy a house in another country or a palace, you can buy a palace. I can help you achieve your dreams. <laughs> you, we can get freedom. Well, I ain't say freedom together, but you can get your freedom. And uh, you can go to Dubai or, or Shannon, what that show you watching? Dublin, Dublin, whatever it was called. You can go to South Africa, or wherever you want to go. I can, I can most likely help you. I'm just saying. But let's move right along, Miss Ann. Move right along. So the thing about it, what you got to realize is 
the truth will set you free. Some of y'all know the truth is why I put this verse. Y'all know the truth. You know everything about this person. You know the evil, demonic empire. What say you want to go to Ghana? Hey, we can do that too. Hey, we can hook that up. Let me know. Reach out to me. <laughs> Reach out to me. Uh, we know the truth about this person. What does the Bible verse say? It said, and the truth will set you free. So if you want real freedom, you need to. I don't need to say no more about that. We, we, we getting close. We getting close to the end. So you must learn the difference between freedom and slavery. See, they kind of look the same. Hold on. Let me walk this out. They kind of look the same. The reason why I say that is, see, if you're in a narcissistic, abusive relationship, freedom and slavery look the same. You can't tell the two apart because, see, you think you're free because they wine and dine you. They got you as a trophy wife showing you off to their friends. They taking you on trips. They buy you pretty things. They buy you purses and buy you cars. So you get that part. If it's a woman, you know, she, she, she's doing all these things for you men. And, and you know, she's the trophy wife, and but she's a narcissist. But see, here's the thing. So on the outside looking in, see, that's why I always say I don't know what my neighbors have going on. And I don't because I'm not in the house. You never know what's going on behind closed doors. So the thing about it is it can look one way. You see the Maserati come out or you see the G-Wagon come out or whatever car and you see them dressed up, you know, outside and stuff. And you be like, oh, that's a, that's a happy couple, happy family, always going out. But what you don't see and what you don't hear is the narcissist abuse that takes place every time that y'all are joking in the house, male or female. See, but what happens is, and our family play a huge role in this, let, 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 let just bear with me. Your family plays a, a huge role with this because here it is. So you married to this jolly joker. You want to leave. Your, your family or pastor or bishop or whatever you call the person in the church you go to, a lot of times what this jolly joker will say, they will say, well, you need to stay and work it out. So wait, hold on. I just told you everything that was going on in my life, for the most part, and your recommendation is for me to stay and work it out? You know what? Who is your spiritual advisor? I'm talking to the pastor right now. Who, who is your spiritual advisor? I need to talk to them because I, you don't know what you're doing. Who, 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 who were you anointed by, by God to be a pastor? Or did you just appoint yourself? Because I, you, you don't know what you're doing. But to the family members that tell you, now a lot of times family members don't know about narcissism abuse, and I get that. But they will tell you the same thing. Well, you know what? You need to stay and work it out. He's such a nice man. Girl, I just told you this jolly joker be beating me and doing all these stupid things, cheating on me and doing all these things. And your recommendation is to go back and work it out. And to the men, you go talk to your homeboy. You better get you some, that's why I told you I'm like, yes, man. You better get you some real homeboy. But we got yes men around. You see what's gonna happen here. You go talk to these jolly jokers. You go tell them what your wife's doing, sleeping with men and cheating and, and doing all these stuff, being abusive. And you know they're gonna tell you. Man, brother, she a dime piece. I would stay with her. What the? Are oh, y'all listening to what I'm saying? What? I just told you she didn't cheated on me five or six times. I just told you she's abusive. I just told you she don't. She ain't like my own children. She don't want my children to the house. I didn't told you all these things, and you gonna tell me, my boys, she a dime piece? Man, come on, bro. Can can can, can a brother get a witness? Can I get some real help out here? I mean, come on, man. Can I get some real, genuine help? See, that don't make people like they used to. <laughs> I ain't being funny, but the thing is, see, some people, they think that's the right thing to say. Nah, nah, that ain't the right, nah, ain't the right thing to say. It, and, you know, a lot of people, well, I, I don't want to break it about divorce. You goofball. I just told you, my marriage is on, 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 on strength. I ain't say rope. It's on strength. It's holding on by a string. And you talking about you don't want to break the marriage. The marriage is broken. It, it, it didn't already broke. It's breaking. What other B? I, can, I mean, I don't know. It's it, it's out of commission. So you telling me good advice is not going to. But some of y'all got yes men around you. So, so you know, you sitting there like, man, so that real freedom that you're seeking, they part of the, 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 uh, the cycle. They, they, they getting you to stay in a abusive situation. Call a thing a thing. Call them a goofball to their face. Just call them, man. You know what, man? You're a goofball, man. I mean, what are you saying? So you want me to stay? 
You want me to stay? Why? Why you want me to stay? I don't want to stay. I, I think it's time to go. Matter of fact, I think it was time to go about a year ago, but I stayed for what? The children. For what? The money. For what? Or my job. For what? I thought I loved them. But, well, life is all about choices. Hey, how you doing, Christine? That's welcome. Welcome. Life is all about choices. We chose to have these goofballs around us. I ain't talking about the Northrop. I'm talking about the family and friends. We chose to have these goofballs around us. So don't be surprised when a goofball give you a goofball answer. When you tell them, you cry, cry to them and tell them everything that's going on in your marriage or your situation. And this goofball tells you, well, you know what? I think you can work it out. We got to get smarter goofballs around us. <laughs> okay, that didn't make no sense. We need to get more intelligent people around us, not smarter goofballs. I take that back. We need to get more intelligent people around us. We need to evaluate our friends, like put out a form and evaluate. Smart? If it's an ex, well, okay, not smart. Do they fit goofball criteria? If, it, if it's a yes, I want to get rid of that friend. Go ahead, go no contact with that friend. Because they didn't gave you bad advice. Hey, how you doing, Dear B. No, I mean, they didn't gave you bad advice from day one. You just didn't realize it until now. You're like, man, that's goofball been giving me. They the one told me to get married to that joke. Bad advice after bad advice. But we want freedom after narcissist abuse. It's achievable, but we got to get rid of some of these goofballs. Some of the goofballs that's around us, yeah, like, like the need, we need sincere people around us. We do. We definitely do. I agree with that. Next Bible verse. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. Huh. Well, if you're married to a narcissist, I guarantee this verse don't fit what you got going on. They're going to be harsh and, and angry and evil. and all. They don't even love you. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but they don't. They don't love you. They don't like you. Until the men that's married to a narcissist or dating a narcissist female, same thing. They, they, they don't love you. They, they harsher as harsh can be. Yes, they are. Okay, let me read this right quick. And then we're almost done. We're almost done. I promise. Uh. Wait, hold on. Let me let me let me finish this. I'm, I'm gonna read this last. I'm gonna say this for last. I got two more things here. That I'm gonna read this. I, I I found this and I got the website. Okay, I think I got the web. No, okay, I don't have the website. Anyway, uh, never let anyone steal your freedom, especially after Discord. See, at the Discord, they try to take your freedom. They try to use and abuse you even further. It's further manipulation. So therefore, you're in a constant uh battle with the ex. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So you divorce them. But how can I say it? you divorce them, but they still in control of your life. Does that make sense? You 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 separated from from them, but they still trying to control your life. So stop letting people steal your joy and your happiness and your freedom. Stand up for yourself. Set strong boundaries. Rizzo, what's that saying you always say? He always say something about boundaries, weak fences or something about fences, but Rizzo put in the chat. But you got to remember, if you set strong boundaries and hold yourself accountable, the freedom that you're seeking after narcissist abuse is achievable because you set boundaries. You telling them, hey, don't call me. Especially if you start dating somebody else. That's when that job joker want to call even more. They, they do. They want to call more. That's men and women. If you divorce the narcissist, they going to want to call you more. As soon as they find you, see your little pictures on Facebook with your new girlfriend and all that, or they want to call. They wasn't calling you before at all. Or somebody was blowing your phone up the whole time. But now that you with somebody, they see you with a new person. Oh, they want to call all the time. Let me see. Rizzo just put it up. Thank you, Rizzo. Uh, let me see. There you go. Thank you, Dan. I'm, good fences make for great neighbors. Boom. That's a whole mess, right? Good fences make for great neighbors. See, if your fence on the ground and you go, you don't go repair your fence, don't, don't, don't be surprised your neighbor walking in your yard. That's what I get out of that. But if you go repair your fence and keep your fence good and solid, you fence around your house like we have a new fence around here. Say, Chris and say Rizzo cracking me up tonight. Hey, Rizzo be on one, be on one all the time. You gotta have strong boundaries so think about that your fence at your house your fence at your house fell down most of y'all can go fix it so it's the same thing with your if you set a boundary it's no way you go set a boundary and then just stop so just think about that for a second think about it for a second okay we're almost done almost done 
So we have to realize we are free even if we are not healed. See, you're free. You can be free and not be fully healed. But the flip to that is, the question is, can you be healed and not really be free? Think about that for a second. I'll wait. I'll say it again. You can re- you have to realize we are free even though we're not here. So you can be, you can divorce them. You can move to another city, another country, whatever. It can actually be free. But you, you might not be healed. But see, the question here is, can you be healed and not be free? What y'all think, family? What y'all think? Can you be healed and not be not be free? Think about it. I'll wait. We got time. We got a little time. I, I like Kristen. Kristen coming on. Kristen on it tonight. She said, no, I don't think so. I, I, I'm with you, Kristen. I, I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't think so either. I really don't. I, I don't think so. I don't think that you can really see after narcissist abuse. Hey, one, two, three, four. Hard no. So everybody said, okay, yeah. So we all agree with that. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't stay in that and 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 trying to get your healing and and nah, it don't work like that. So we all in agree. Okay, thank y'all for that. Thank y'all for that. That just came to him. I just flipped the words right then and there. But yeah, yeah, I'm with y'all. Okay, no, all right, family. We, see my family. We all, hey, you got some intelligent people over here. Show sure do, show sure do. Okay, we about to wrap this up. Let me read. We we actually done. Let me read this right here. So it's saying, and I should have. Took the, I thought I, I thought I saved it, but I didn't. But the website, usually I, I, I like to give credit. But it said there are three three kinds of freedom. Well, I read it. I'm like, you know, it's very interesting. So the first one is, there, there are three types of freedom. It said the first kind of freedom is freedom from, it got it in uh, uh, quotations, uh, uh, freedom from the constraints of society. So that's the first freedom they're talking about. The first kind of freedom is freedom from a freedom from the constraints of society. See, society have you messed up because they have you believing certain things you shouldn't really believe. Think about that for a second. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Let me read this right quick. Okay, she said, uh, Super Chat, amen, son. Let's stop making excuses to keep these people in our lives. Amen to that. The cage door is open. Walk out. The snare is cut. Fly away. Freedom. Amen to that. I love that. Amen to that. Man, y'all put some fire flames and stuff in the chat. That was, man, she coming. Okay, I like that. I like that. That's awesome right there. Yeah, you're right. You're right. The cage door is open. You have all the resources. You have all the tools. You have the, the different channels to talk about narcissist abuse that help. You got TikToks. You have uh, people that's, you know, courts, all this stuff in front of you. All you got to do, the, the door is open. God got his hand out. What you going to do? You going to take his hand or you going to close the door and go walk back in the narcissist abuse home? Some of y'all just need to step off, step off, step on, step off, whatever the, whatever you want to call it. Like she said, walk out. I love that. Thank you for saying that. May God return it to you over and over again. That's that's, that's fire right there. I like that. That's a Ooh, you you know, write that in a book or something. <laughs> that's like a like a, a nice little poem or something. That's yeah, that, that, that's good right there. That's God like that one. Okay, so that's number two, the second kind of freedom. It says second is freedom to freedom to like to a uh, freedom to do what we want to do. What we talked about earlier, we talked about getting free from narcissist abuse and being able to do what we want to do. That's the second kind of freedom. So remember, the first one was the first kind of freedom is freedom from a freedom from the constraints of society. The second one is freedom to a freedom to do what we want to do. I say, man, this is good. I don't know why I ain't say the website. And the third one is there's freedom to be a freedom, not just to do what we want, but a freedom to be who we were meant to be. Man, that's like a whole uh, a sermon right there if you look at that. So the third one again is freedom to be. A freedom not just to do what we want, but a freedom to be who we are meant to be. See, narcissist abuse will have you not being who you meant, who you was meant to be. Think about it for a second. So you will be in a situation and you're with this narcissist and you really... You are, of course, I didn't talk about this before. You are, of course, you're, you're not going down the path God wants you to go on because you didn't follow this narcissist and you you catering to them and you you got them elevated on a platform, basically like you making them a, 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 a idol. So therefore, you're not being who you're supposed to be. But see, if you go through freedom like we should be, 
See, when you divorce the narcissist and you're doing all those things. So, again, when you hit that first stage of freedom, freedom from, a freedom from constraints of society. When I think about that, constraints of society, they'll tell you, what did I just say? They'll tell you, oh, you know what? You need to stay and work it out. Or they'll say, it's no such thing as narcissist abuse. Or they'll say, oh, it's only 1% of narcissists in the world. Or they'll say, you know what? I think, you know, back back, back in back in time, my grandmother them stayed married for 40 years. Well, this ain't your grandmother doggone marriage, so I don't want to hear them stupid uh, things that you're saying. It sounds good. and I, I love that they was married for 40 and 50 years, but guess what? I'm not your grandpapa, and this not your grandmama, so not. Nah. I'm just, I just had to go there real quick. So when people tell you things like that, that's where I'm getting that that first one from freedom from constraints of society see society will have you thinking oh well you're supposed to stay and work it out you're supposed to stay there till the wheels fall off you're supposed to work this thing out even though there's no working in it matter of fact you're the only one working the john and joker not working at all they're working to destroy you that's what they're working on i'm just saying i'm just keeping it real so the thing about it is that's what I get from freedom. So you got a pastor, a bishop, archbishop, priest, whatever, spiritual advisor, spiritual coach. I don't know. Your mom or your daddy, brother, sister, whomever. If you're going to tell this Jolly Joker everything that you had to, you know, say about your situation with this narcissist and this Jolly Joker, the first word come out of your mouth, they say, well, you need to go work it out. You need to do this right here. I'm going to show you. I usually don't stand up on camera, but you need to do this right here. So I'm pushing my chair back from the, you need to stand up and you need to walk off and go ahead and tell them, you know what? I'm, I'm good. I'm done. I'm done. They're like, where you going? I don't know where I'm going, but I'm leaving. I'm going to Starbucks, get a coffee. I'm going to get me something to eat. I don't need to talk to you. We ain't got nothing to talk about. We good. We good. You just said the thing. Solomon told me y'all would say that. <laughs> Solomon said y'all would say something stupid like that. So nah, get going. You ain't got to sit there and talk to them. If you pay for the service and you want to stay for the hour, hey, go ahead, stay for the hour and listen to that Jolly Joker. Me, I'm asking for a refund. I hope they start with that in the first five minutes. If you start with that, I'm going to go ahead and push my chair back and we about to go ahead and walk it out. Walk it out. Walk, I'm going to walk to my car and drive off. And matter of fact, I'm going to take your phone number, block, or I'm going to delete it. No, I don't, need, I don't need to talk to you. We good. We good. We ain't got nothing to talk about. I'm just keeping it real. So number two, second, it's freedom to a freedom to do what we want to do. So if you can't do what you want to do, maybe you need to change your situation. I'm just I'm, am I saying go get a divorce? It's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you need to change what's going on because maybe you might be with a narcissist. I don't know. I don't know your situation. You know your situation better than I do. I'm just saying. And number three, the last one, thirdly, there is freedom to be. A freedom not just to do what we want, but a freedom to be who we were meant to be. If a person, notice I said a person, I didn't say a husband, I didn't say a wife, I didn't say a child, mama, brother, sister, daddy, I said a person. Person is blocking you from what you were me. God then told you who you're supposed to be. You might want to remove that person from your life. You might want to push that from the table, stand up and walk off. See, some of y'all. Y'all got that spirit of fear. We're supposed to have that, but you got that spirit of fear. You scared of the consequences. You scared of the outcome. Of what if I do do what Solomon said and push my chair from the table? They not going to like me. Man, look here. I'm pretty sure through my years of building this earth, they got a lot of people that don't like me for different reasons. And guess what? I don't care because I don't remember half of them. really don't care. So if you stop if you stop liking me because of this video, well, so I mean, we probably was never friends, never family. I ain't never met you in person, so it really doesn't matter. Guess what? I'm going to still get off this live. I'm going to go fix me a bite to eat. I'm going to take a shower. I'm going to lay down in the bed with my wife and go to sleep. Guess what? I don't care if you don't like me. I'm not here to be liked by everybody. I'm not here to be loved by everybody. If you like me, I like you. If you love me, I love you. If you don't love me, guess what? I still love you. See how I did? See what I did right there? I'm still going to pray for you. But the thing is, again, don't think you can just come over here and just say what you want and do what you want. Nah. You're not going to block me from doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just saying. <laughs> Mimi must just say no more ride or die. Nah, we done with that ride or die. Ride or die till the wheels fall off. We're going to stay there to the end. Nah, we're not staying. We're not doing this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm with you to the end of time. No, nah. Nah. 
nah, we're not doing that. See, and I know they're gonna say, well, marriage is it was never meant to to do that. And you know, back in in the nineteen ten, nineteen ten, I wasn't born in nineteen ten, but okay, I'll listen to you. They'll say, well, back in nineteen ten and nineteen thirty, people used to get married, and marriage was different than what it is. Guess what? Those people were dealing with narcissists too. They just didn't know what the heck they was dealing with. I'm going to say it again. The people in 1910, 1920, 1930, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever year you want to pull up, 1845, they was dealing with narcissists too. They just didn't have a name for it. But I bet you one thing, they knew that person was evil. They knew that person was mean. They knew they was, they knew a lot. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. I'm just saying. It don't matter what year you pull up, 2021, 2020, 2022. It does not matter. Narcissist abuse has been around. It's, it's way back in the Bible days. So it's been around for a long, long time. So don't get it twisted and think, well, you know what? Narcissist, because see, that's something else people started saying lately. Well, everybody just calling everybody a narcissist. No, I'm calling people that's narcissists that I believe to be a narcissist. My discernment tells me, no, you're a narcissist. And I have a right to say that. The first thing they say, I did a TikTok about it. The first thing they say is, well, where you get your doctorate from? And I told y'all, when somebody asks you that, where you get your doctorate from, your immediate response should be, where you graduated high school from? Because, see, this thing, a lot of them want to ask you about a doctorate. They, they never been to college. So if you want to ask me these questions, I'm going to ask you some questions back. You better ask them about it. I'm going to ask you where you graduated high school from. Or where you went to college? If you tell me you ain't got a college degree, how can you ask me about a doctorate? Spell doctorate. <laughs> spell doctorate. I'm just saying, spell doctorate, and then maybe we can have a conversation. Because I promise you could probably say D-O-C-T-O-R. That's not doctorate. That's doctor. <laughs> That's not doctorate. I know you think, you think you're smarter than me. Okay. Okay. But I'm just saying that's what they do. I know how to spell doc, D-O-C-T-O-R. Okay. Or they'll think they slick. It's D-R. Jesus Christ. It's DR. That's how you spell doctorate. Okay. Okay. But you asking me why I got my doctor from to be able to call people North. Man, come on, man. Get come on, man. Y'all can't make this too easy, man. Y'all can't. It, it can't be this. It can't be this easy. DR, that's how we spell a doctorate. Okay. All right. All right. So again, if these people ask you these little stupid questions, where you good get your doctorate from. Ask them to spell a doctorate. If they can spell that, that don't mean they smarter than you. That just means you probably work with smile with a little common sense. Ask them where they went to college at. If they tell you, well, I didn't go to college, you just need to walk away. Just like I just pushed this chair back. Just need, man, you know what? I'm, you know what? Phone ring. I, I got to go. Oh, you do one thing? Hey, yeah. Somebody call your name. Just walk off. Because how they go ask you about a doctorate? Ain't never been to college. Man, come on, man. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of here. I got time today. <laughs> I got time today. I'm, I'm see the thing about it with me. I love teaching. And I, I love the way this platform is growing, the way the YouTube channel is growing. I see we hit 50 plus ends. Awesome. Thank y'all for, for being here, you know, liking the, the video and stuff. I love teaching, but see, it's not just about teaching. See, I, I always wanted to be a comedian, but see, God have it where I'm doing it different. I'm able to teach. And still make you laugh. And I think that's a good thing because we already agreed that laughter is good. It's just good for you to be able to laugh at the narcissist. It's just good. So, yeah, I, I I got time. Usually any day of the week, any night, it don't matter. I wake up clown. It, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, yeah, just realize that, again, freedom after narcissist abuse, it is achievable. Get out of your own way. Stop listening to them people that's telling you to go back to the situation and work it out. Tell them, why don't you go marry that Jolly Joker then? Because I'm going to divorce him. And you go ahead and marry him and let me know how that work out for you. I'm just saying. And if you think it's going to work out that good and you know so much about him or you know so much about her, I'm going to divorce them. You married him. I signed off on it. You want to marry You go ahead. Go ahead. Matter of fact, matter of fact, you know what? I'll do you something that I never said I was going to do. I'll show up at the wedding just to congratulate you. I won't say nothing when they say that anybody got something to say. It. I'm going to be quiet. Be quiet because I want to make sure you get married to this Jolly Joker so he'd be out of my hair. <laughs> you need to tell him. And then go ahead and hey, go ahead and move off and tell him kick rocks with no shoes on. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. See, some of y'all don't want to say, I know. We probably can't say that. Don't listen to me on all this advice. <laughs> Something to say you probably can't say. 
<laughs> but a lot of it you actually can. And you get a smile on their face. And like Shannon just said, any objections? I'd be looking around like everybody else. What you're looking at me for? They'd be like, well, that's your ex. I know. And I'm I'm happy. Hey, go ahead, preacher. Go ahead. Go ahead so they can kiss and get this over with. <laughs> I want them to sign them documents so I know it's official. Nah. I wish they would look at me, but Simon got something to say. You talking somebody else name, Simon? Like, no, you. Oh, I ain't got nothing. Nah. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. Don't, yeah, like Miss Ash, don't look at me. I, I ain't got nothing. I'm good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let this. Can you can you speed this up? I got somewhere to be. <laughs> can you speed this up? I want this. I want this over with. Can y'all hear me sign the paper, please? I know my divorce official from last time, but I want them to sign the paper. So I, okay, go ahead and sign that paperwork. I'm just saying. <laughs> Go ahead and sign this paperwork. All right, let me read a couple of y'all comments. We're going to pray and get up out of here. Y'all funny. I here cracking up. Yes, you're right. It is good for the soul. And thank you for being here, Tamara. Like I said, I just talked to her on uh, TikTok. And she showed us. So thank you for being here. Hey, I'm live every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. My wife, you know, she be on on Saturdays and at, at 1 p.m. And it, it just... It's a fun environment. We got a lot of channels that talk about narcissist abuse, and you'll see people coming here. And we got Clubhouse, and uh, we all over the place. We're doing stuff everywhere. Be honest with you. Like people like Kristen. See, Kristen, I'm bringing up Kristen again. I ain't trying to put my sister on blast, but the thing about it, see, Kristen is putting in the work. See that this, this title, Freedom at the Narcissist Abuse is Achievable. Ask Kristen. She, she, I know she feel it because she's at home. She, she. And she feels different. She's she's doing the work. She's watching videos. She's reading about it more, praying more. She she's learning about narcissism. BC. That's how you know the difference between somebody that's playing about freedom and healing, and somebody that's really serious about healing and freedom. They go put the work in. They go sign up for the different programs and all these different things. See, if you're not signing up for the programs and some of the stuff is free, I know you're not serious about your healing or your freedom. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I mean, think think about it. She said, I tag you as a comedian on TikTok, so I'm or the skit has comedy at least. So you on point. Oh, you talking about the Mr. Narcissist skit? Yeah, Mr. Narcissist. I'm going to drop another video. I might record a couple more tonight. <laughs> yeah, I read a few more. He said, come on now. Yeah. We just have, see, we have a good time over here, Tammy, and, and Leaves. This is your first time. Whoever else, your first time here. We teach about narcissists, but see, it, it, it can't continue being about bashing the narcissist. Because anybody can talk about bashing the narcissist. It got to come a point in time when you 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 elevate or you graduate, I should say, from bashing the narcissist to actually learning how to get your healing and then also learn how to help someone else get their healing. See, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a process. And you have to go through the process to be able to, you know what I'm saying, get on the other side. So see, if you continue just talking about the narcissist and going to these channels where they just bash the narcissist and talk about them and that's where you stay at, well, don't be looking at me when you're wondering why it's three years later. You still listen to this one channel or these two, three channels, whoever you listen to, and you still haven't healed. Well, you you chose. Remember, life is all about choices. You chose wrongly. You with a person that's just bashing the narcissist. So, I mean, at some point, they got to tell you something. Now, if they started off bashing the narcissist and then they graduated themselves, start talking about healing and stuff, and that's what you want. But if they three, four, five years in, 10 years in, and they still bashing the narcissist. It's no healing. It's no how I get my healing or none of that. I mean, what, what, I don't know what to tell you. I can't stay around with that. Chris is like, go mad in 1970s, nothing. Yeah, you can have it in 1970s, nothing. <laughs> they can have that, Chris. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, Tim and say, X spell y'all real name and watch the dumb look. Uh, ask when Jesus birthday and watch them say Christmas. Ask about the doctrine of the Holy Spirit and watch <laughs> got eggs for brain, not eggs for brain, not just just mush in there. Nah, nah, come on, not the mush. Come on, man. <laughs> y'all funny. I, I love the family. Y'all awesome. My wife say it's official. Yeah, it's official. Make it official with the wig. Go ahead, sign it, sign that paper real quick. I want to I want to see it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna stand there. Make sure, babe, make sure, make sure you dot the eyes across the T one. Make sure it's official. <laughs> I'm gonna stand there and watch, I'm like, hey. Nah, you got a T in your name. You got a T. Put across that. That might not. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back across. <laughs> make sure it's official. I want to make sure it's okay. Hey, hey, uh, Bishop, Reverend, Pastor, whatever your name is. Hey, make sure you sign that. 
and send it off so it can get, get state approved. I need to make sure this is official. Matter of fact, I'll be an errand boy. I'll go bring the paperwork down to the courthouse myself and give it to the person that need to sign. <laughs> I help y'all. I want to speed up the process. I want to make sure this works. I'm just saying. I wouldn't do all that. I really wouldn't. <laughs> I don't care that much. I'm just being funny. I wouldn't do all that. I wouldn't do all that. They invite me. I don't think I'll go because I've been there laughing like, man, this Jolly Joker don't know what he getting into. Just saying. Just saying. All right, y'all. Let's pray so we can get about here. Thank y'all again for just being here. I know I've been a couple weeks since I've been live, but we back on it now. We 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 back every Wednesday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And turn your notifications on because you know I might do a live here and there in the you know midday, like 12, 1 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So and you never know. Uh oh yeah, on. What do you say, Donna? She say, this said my stomach hurt. I hope it ain't because of me. I didn't do nothing this time. I would just, I would just you know, sharing a message. <laughs> I was sharing a message. I know Adam B be talking about his ribs be hurting after the show. I like, ain't got nothing to do with me. I, I mean, y'all been here before. Y'all already know. So, hey, you got to watch this maybe in increments or something. And, you know, I, I can't help it. Adam B, you all right with your stomach or your ribs? <laughs> I'm just saying, hey, laughter is good, especially when we talk about these Jolly Jokers and goofballs. And I got Jolly Jokers from Rizzo. Rizzo always used to say Jolly Jokers. I say, man, you, Jolly Jokers, that's a name right there, but That's a name. <laughs> Let me see what she say. Can you ask Mr. Narciss why he is so insecure about other men looking at his wife? Oh my goodness. You know what? You know what? That'd be a good that, I had to write that one down. That'd be a good question. Not, let, let me write that down. I'm gonna forget. Let me write that down. Can you write? <laughs> That's a good one right there? I like that one. Why he insecure? I'm writing this down for real. I'm gonna do one on that one. I don't know why he's secure. Why he insecure about that? <laughs> I like that one. And I told you, hey, I'm taking questions. You want to take questions? Hey, go ahead and send it to me. Uh, well, like after this video air or whatever, you can send it to me. Uh, and I, I'll uh try to get to them when I can. I try to respond to everybody's message, but you know, sometimes it take a while. But yeah. All right, I wrote that down. That's a Mr. Narcissus skit gonna be coming to you. At some point in time, I ain't promising this week because I got I got like six or seven already lined up. But uh, I was Chris and I really was writing it down. I, I don't, see, I don't watch a lot of my videos like after I need to, but I don't. I already watch them, so I got to write it down doing the thing. Otherwise, I won't. Uh, I won't remember. I don't remember. But yeah, but send me a message. You know, after the live, if you would put put a message in there, you know what I'm saying uh, for some questions. Hey, I'm doing Mr. Narcissus kit. We're just getting started. I don't know what's going to happen with this skit, but so far I'm getting good feedback on TikTok and on YouTube. So doing pretty decent. Something new, so I'm going to keep doing them. Y'all got questions? Hey, we. I got answers. Well, I ain't got answers. I, don't, I ain't a narcissist, but I can ask the question for you. <laughs> maybe the narcissist might, uh, maybe my answers. I don't know. I'm not sure. He might. <laughs> okay, she said, I'm going to keep, uh, hold on. She said, I'm going to keep adding music to her. Hey, do what you do. I, I keep liking the duet, so we're gonna we're gonna blow up Mr. Narcissus at some point. Everybody gonna know who Mr. Narcissus is. It's just a different side. You know, I got a funny side anyway, so it is what it is. But thank y'all again, man. Thank y'all. Honestly, I, I really appreciate y'all like being here. Thank y'all for being here. God bless y'all. It, it's awesome to see y'all, you know, here. Good to be around family again. I was excited to get ready to go live. So I was like, man, I said I get to go live again because I, I didn't do it last week. And I had one scheduled actually for Friday, but what happened was I didn't realize the time was 2 a.m. And somebody messaged me. I think it was uh, I think it was Kimberly Inko said she was up. She was looking for that message. I was like, ah, man, for this message right here. I had it scheduled uh <laughs> yeah, for 2 a.m. So I know I wasn't gonna make that one. I wasn't gonna make that. I was gonna be late for my own life, but uh yeah, so I ended up rescheduling that and doing it tonight. So I'm glad I did, but so we back on it. So we got more Mr. Narcissus kits coming. Uh, the one about uh, why he insecure about other men looking at his wife. That's going to be a hot one coming down. <laughs> I'm probably going to tie that why you insecure so you'll know. Why you insecure. It's usually in red so you'll know that, that that's the one that you just gave me. So, yeah, I'll I write that one in. <laughs> and I'll try to record that one. I have it recorded probably about tomorrow. And I'll probably drop it probably Monday or Tuesday or something like that. 
I'll see. But I know I got four or five already recorded. And usually you'll know I'm doing Mr. Nard because I always put my hands like this here and I do it like this. So you'll know it's, it's a different setup. You ain't watching one of the Mr. Narcissist skits. That's what it, I usually got my hands right here. I'm tapping my finger and I'll be like just talking like Mr. Narcissist. Yeah. Just ask people that watch. It's, it, it's, it's kind of funny. But uh, <laughs> Chris is saying, please don't go yet. <laughs> hey, we be, we be back. We, we be back. I, I, I'll, I'll drop a, uh, a short or TikTok or something. If y'all on TikTok, hey, follow me over there, man. I'm starting to grow over there. And, you know, I'm doing the missing narcissist skits plus other little skits. And usually I drop them over here on YouTube, too. So if you don't have TikTok, that's fine. You'll see them here. It's the shorts. You're using them more than a minute. So, if you, hey, you're looking for a life coach, hey, certified life coach. You can sign up on my website and stuff like that. Uh, <laughs> she says it's hilarious. Thank you for that. Uh, you sign up for it. You look again, real estate agent. Hey, they told me to use my sphere of influence for uh the company I work with. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. So hey, y'all my sphere of influence. I, I know a lot of y'all not personally, but I know y'all from here, y'all name. So hey, if y'all looking to move, or you know somebody looking to move, especially moving to Texas, hey, let them know that uh you know a funny guy that can sell you a house or help you buy a house or whatever the case is. Hey, I'm this how I am in person. I might not climb this much with a you know, with a client, but I'll, I'll do my best. You know what I'm saying? I won't let you down. I'll find my house. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I'll find y'all. So if you're moving to Texas, hey, let me know. I'll find you a house. I sure will. Uh, Let me see what they say. Oh, y'all here laughing. All right, y'all. Let's pray so we can get out of here. God, we just come together just praying, just saying thank you. Thank you for another another live. I know it's been a couple weeks since the last live, but thank you for the people that came in that that you know, like the channel or like the video, I should say, uh, left a comment, you know, even they just watched and, you know, didn't, didn't leave a comment or like, but just thank you for the, all the people that was in the live. Thank you for the people that's going to watch the replay. We, we're just praying for, for this growth. Uh, it, it strengthened numbers, but we're praying for growth with more people just seeing this content. Cause I think a lot of people need to hear the funnier side of, of, of this narcissist abuse. I know it sounds crazy saying that, but a lot of people need to hear the way the messages are being delivered. Uh, we have people that are serious and that's fine but i just think this message the way it's, it's taught and the way i've been teaching lately uh more people just need to hit it so we're just praying that you know more people discover the channel and you know subscribe to the channel and come into the lives and you know interact with with others that way they can you know laugh and even share you know they what they've been through or what they're going through and we can actually provide help and resources to be able to help them so we saying thank you for that oh heaven father we want to thank you for for just waking us up another day thank you for the lights the lights that's on thank you for the air the ceiling fans the the power the cars and you know, the be able to drive and gas on so we know gas is high right now we praying for a decrease in gas even though they're talking about increase we praying against that we praying for a decrease in the gas prices even though the oil prices are up and you know the food is up so we're just praying for decreases on some of these things so just thank you we also want to pray for the removal of snakes in our lives whether they're in our inner circle our outer circle and our family circle our friendship circle, our work circle, whatever it may be, we want to pray for the removal of the snakes and the narcissists that are in those circles and just removing them out of hell and fun. We praying for the people that are praying against us as well. They got a lot of people that's praying against us. They got a lot of people that are praying on us, P-R-E-Y, that are praying on us, trying to trick us and manipulate. We praying that we have increased discernment, increased faith, and we also praying for increased patience. And we'll be patient through any time that we're dealing with narcissist abuse or just dealing with life in general. Just be patient and be be kind during the patience and just uh, just value the process of being patient because patience is a process. So we just want to ask for increased patience as well. So we thank you for everybody that's here, every family that's represented, everybody that's uh, that's watching and they're watching, for, you know, watching with a family member and everything we praying and they just touch each and every one uh, that's that's uh, Represented here, Heavenly Father. So thank you, thank you, thank you for another great live. And we'll see you next Wednesday or whatever the next live is. We'll see you next time. This is actually in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. I gotta drink some water. Okay, Kristen. Good night. See y'all next time. Brother Rizzo, Alan B, Lyricist, Tiffany. Oh, uh, Shannon, I'm about to see Shannon a little while. She's in another room. So, Debbie Noah, good night. Good night, family. Oh, yeah. Jasmine here and Donna. 
Tesha Blair, good night. Miss Spanish Lady, Lolly, good night. Alan B, I see you. Dr. G, what's up, Dr. G? <laughs> I'm trying to get Dr. G to move down here to Texas, too. This is good to everybody in Texas. They find everybody. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Hey, how you doing? Good night. Good night. Y'all have a good one, man. God bless all y'all. And like I said, follow me on TikTok. Christine S, good night. Share this out. You know, share it out on your different social medias. You know, with y'all sharing the stuff out, that's how the channel grows. So share it out on Facebook and TikTok and, you know, people that, you know, dealing with narcissist abuse. Share the information out. Good night, uh, Janet Foot. Uh, Tiffany say thank you, Solomon, for for your career. Hey, I'm just being. You're welcome. Just being myself. Just using my uh my God given talent to the best of my ability. That's what I'm doing. Joanne, thank you, thank you, thank y'all for being here. Good night, family. Tammy Russell again. I'll see you on TikTok. I'm pretty sure sometime she be sending me funny videos on TikTok. I'll be sending her videos too. So it's good to uh you know meet people. You know and. Come on different uh, platforms. I want to say about TikTok. A lot of people from TikTok come over here to YouTube, which is cool. So, yeah. Uh, Tisha said, please watch, share my repost, y'all. <laughs> yeah, she did, a, uh, I think, my first Mr. Narcissist skit. Is that right? I think she said she reposted it earlier, right before my line. So, I'm going to go watch it myself. Uh, I'll repost it as well. So, yeah. Mr. Narcissist uh, here. So, <laughs> uh, many blessings to you as well, lyricists. Good night. Tony Cables, what's up, man? Good night, man. Good night. How you doing? God bless you. All right, y'all. I'll play a couple of me, a little bit of music, and uh, we're gonna get up out of here. I mean, if I can find my uh stuff, I ain't got my stuff lined up. Usually I got it lined up, ready to go. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. God bless y'all, man. Have a good night. Today Wednesday. So hey, man, have an awesome weekend. And hey, watch this video again and comment on it if you want to. Teacher, I'm loving your TikTok content. Yeah, yeah, she's doing good over there. She doing good. Shannon on TikTok. Got a lot of people on TikTok. Join be on TikTok, killing it. A lot of people be over there. All right, y'all. See y'all next time. we